What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. And I'm here on another hurry up edition, giving you guys three landing spots, three potential landing spots that I could see Baker Mayfield in in 2022. Guys, if you like the video, make sure you are liking the video and then subscribe to the FanDuel channel. Uh, you could subscribe on YouTube where we got all the fantasy content, all the goodness coming to you guys as it stands. All right, let's talk about Baker Mayfield and some of the landing spots that we could see him in in 2022. We're going to start it off with Seattle here. Uh, Seattle just makes the most sense in, in bringing in a quarterback. They traded for, they traded Russell Wilson and only got back Drew Locke in return. So, I mean, unless something was popping off on his college tape to Pete Carroll, the college guy, I, I don't see them sticking with him as being the, the day one starter. You bring in a guy like Baker Mayfield who could be a, a bridge quarterback for you. You still got the likes that, you know, they still got the, the backfield um, at the helm. They still got guys on the outside and, and Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, um, bring, bring in a solid young core and they, they just got Noah Fant as well uh, in the trade. So we definitely like what Seattle's doing here with young pieces and just bringing in Baker as, as again, that bridge quarterback could just help them until they find an option that they want to go with. 2023 and beyond the next team we'll talk about is the new orleans saints now the new orleans saints they just signed uh Jameis winston who's pretty much been a loyalist to this franchise over the past couple of years and waiting in the wing as as drew Brees was was there and, and on to retire but he's coming off of an of an injury and he has some significant injury injury history as well as Baker Mayfield so maybe they bring in a guy like Baker for some quarterback competition you know we're talking about the likes of Alvin Kamara being there they got the young stud in, in Traquan Smith we'll see what happens with Michael Thomas and all the things that's surrounding him but we know the NFC South is going to be a competitive division and the Saints are still going to want to compete and if it's any um, if there's any consolation to the whole thing Sean Payton he was connected to Baker Mayfield when he was coming out of the draft and liking him so if his constituents are you know anything like Sean Payton and are interested in bringing in a guy like Baker Mayfield this could be a good spot for for both of these teams lastly we'll talk about the Detroit Lions and the Detroit Lions have some ties to Baker Mayfield with John Dorsey being a senior executive on this team he was at the Browns when they drafted Baker Mayfield with the first overall pick and so if he has any pull with Dan Campbell with Brad Holmes the GM uh, we could see Baker Mayfield landing in the spot now Jared Goff is is under contract and they're not going to move on for him uh uh, after after this or this year after restructuring his contract uh, just too much uh, of a cap hit that that would be but going forward you know we're talking about a Baker Mayfield coming in at 26 and he's got young weapons around him and DeAndre Swift uh, Amon Ross St. Brown they just brought in uh, the likes of DJ Chark got TJ Hawkinson so we definitely like what uh, this offense could could bring and if they feel like Baker could be that guy to kind of get them over the hump and that they've seen enough from Jared Goff that that hasn't been there we we could definitely see him in a spot and you know baker he has he doesn't have his pick of the litter here but cleveland's going to take their time through the summer make sure the deal is right for them so in any one of these teams that goes after him they're going to have to you know get, get a decent sweet pot to the deal to cleveland as they can you know pretty much ride with that 18 million cap going into 2022 and not really blink an eye on it that's going to do it for the FanDuel Hurry Up this week, guys. Appreciate you guys rocking along with us all year long. As I said, make sure you subscribe to that video and interact with some of our content. We appreciate that. We'll catch you guys next time on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Until then, peace. <laughs>